जगतपति गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गोरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चे नोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जय मुदीर गुरु श्री राधे गुरु कानंद भगवान की जय जय गुरु श्रीमद् भागवतम की जय 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा जय हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा तरुण हरे कृष्णा निशा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा मयु हरे कृष्णा हां हरे ओके एवरीवन हैड अ नाइस वीकेंड and back to shrimad bhagavatam i'll just be listening in today yeah i'll explain kal bhi debate hai sarve se kal yeah it's say because last time bhi debate mein maza nahi aaya and this could be better actually so Yeah, I think debate starts at nine, right? Yeah. Oh, so half an hour. Take later, nine thirty. Sure. Half an hour. So, what are you going to do? Debate? <laughs> I'm not following anything, so I'm fine. I'm not mm-hmm. watching it too. Yeah, I think we'll have our session. Baki baad mein bhi dekh sakte hai recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Agar ekdam interest ho, to baad mein bhi dekh sakte hai. Sari channels pe aayega. बाद में भी करी सो हम लोग इक्कीसवा ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट श्लोक पढ़ रहे थे लास्ट वीक ऑफ ट्वेंटी अध्याय वी आर ऑन एट इसके अंदर ट्वेंटी अध्याय एंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट श्लोक हम लोग पढ़ रहे थे और जैसा कि हम लोग पढ़ रहे हैं वामन देव भगवान वामन देव के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं एंड विद बली महाराज राइट सो जैसा कि पिछले सारे अध्याय में हमने पढ़ा है कि कैसे बली महाराज वन द होल All the loks, including Dev lok, right? All devatas have to disappear. Mother Aditi is the mother of all the devatas, right? As we know, <clears throat> and then she, of course, wanted all the devatas to be back. उसके लिए उन्होंने तपस्या करी, पायोवर्त तपस्या, and पायोवर्त तपस्या is a तपस्या of Bhagwan Vishnu, and who had suggested that to Mother Aditi to do this tapasya? कश्यप मुनि राइट कश्यप मुनि नॉन अदर देन हस्बैंड ऑफ मदर आदिति राइट कश्यप मुनि खुद मेडिटेशन से वापस आए थे सजेस्टेड टू डू द पावर तपस्या भगवान विष्णु ने दर्शन दिया मदर आदिति को एंड सेड ही विल अपियर टू कश्यप मुनि एंड आदिति मदर एंड देन ही विल गेट ऑल द देवता बैक सो ही प्रोमिस दैट देन एज वी सो हाउ वामन देव अपियर वामन देव बींग सन्यासी ब्रह्मचारी None other than Altar of Lord Vishnu. He went to Bali Maharaj, and then he asked for three steps of land. Yeah, three steps of land, <clears throat> and Bali Maharaj, of course, being the biggest dani, he agreed for that. Then we saw how Sukra Charyaji tried to tell Bali Maharaj that Vaman there is none other than Bhagwan Vishnu, and he is going to take away everything from you. You should not do this, and still Bali Maharaj, you know, responded back to him. Very beautiful conversation we read between Shankaracharya ji, Shukracharya ji, sorry, 
between Sukracharya ji and Bali Maharaj. And <clears throat> Bali Maharaj finally agreed to give the uh, three steps to Vamandev. And that's what we are reading right now. And Vamandev now is taking the first step. And that's what we are reading. Um, let's read this again, uh, Anilji. Tad Vamanam Rupam Vardhata Dvatam Hare Nanna Tasya Gunatrayatma Kam Bhuha Kam Disho Dyorvi Varaha Payodhaya Sthirya Nradeva Rishyo Vadas Yadasat The Unlimited Supreme Personality of Godhead who had assumed the form of Bhaman then began increasing in size, acting in terms of the material energy until everything in the universe was within his body, including the earth, the planetary systems, the sky, the directions, the various holes in the universes, the universe, the seas, the oceans, the birds, bees, human beings, the demigods, and the great saintly persons. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So as we know, the unlimited supreme personality of Godhead, right? <clears throat> Vamandev, Hare, Anantasya, yeah, and as we, and of course his rule, Adabhut rule, and he started to expand himself, and, and then he had everything, right? Bhuha, yeah, Prithvi, Kham, Akash, all the shows, everything including Devatas, Rishis, and everyone, oceans, human beings, demigods, and great saintly persons, Everything was covered by his step. And again, it was a nice book, but let's read this again one more time. Uh, Ajay? Sure. Bali Maharaj wanted to give charity to Vamandev, but the Lord expanded his body in such a way that he showed Bali Maharaj that everything in the universe is already in his body. Actually, no one can give anything to Supreme Personality of Godhead for, for he is full in everything. Sometimes we see a devotee offering Ganges water to Ganges. After taking his bath in the Ganges, a devotee takes a palm full of water and offers it back to the Ganges. Actually, when one takes a palm full of water from the Ganges, the Ganges does not lose anything. But And similarly, if a devotee offers a palm full of water to the Ganges, the Ganges does not increase in any way. But by such an offering, the devotee becomes celebrated as a devotee of Mother Ganges. Similarly, when we offer anything with devotion and faith, what we offer does not belong to us, nor, belo nor does it enrich the opulence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But if one offers whatever he has in his possession, he becomes a recognized devotee. In this regard, the example is given that <clears throat> when one's face is decorated with garland and sandalwood pulp, the reflection of one's face in a mirror automatically becomes beautiful. The original source of everything is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is our original source also. Therefore, when the Supreme Personality of Godhead is decorated, the devotees and all living entities are decorated automatically. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So what is being mentioned is even though Vamandev is asking for those three steps, right? But the Lord expanded his body in such a way that he showed Bali Maharaj that everything in the universe is already in his body, right? And that's the Leela which Vamandev is doing. Yeah? Anisha? Kaye Balistasya Mahavibhuteha Sahastri Sahar Twiga Charya Sadasya Etata Dadarsha Vishwam Trivunam Gunatmake Bhutendriyartha Shayajiva Yuktam Bali Mara, along with all the priests, Acharyas and members of assembly observed the Supreme Personality of Godhead's universal body which was full of six appellances. That body contained everything within the universe including all the gross material elements, the senses, the sense objects, the mind, intelligence, and false ego, the various kinds of living entities, and the actions mm -hmm. and reactions of three modes of material nature. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna. Yeah, so Bali Maharaj saw that all the Lord Vishwam Tri Gunam Gunatmake. Like everything was basically in his expansion. In a nice purple, let's read this. Karun? In Bhagavad Gita, the Supreme Personality of Godhead says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo Mataha Sarvam Pravartate. Krishna is the origin of everything. Vasudeva Sarvam Iti. Krishna is everything. Mat Sthani Sarvabhutani Na Chaham Tesva Avastita. Everything rests in the body of the Lord, yet the Lord is not everywhere. Mayavadi philosophers think that since the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Absolute Truth has become everything. He has no separate existence. Their philosophy is called Advaita Vada. Actually, however, their philosophy is not correct. Here, Bali Maharaja was a seer of the Personality of Godhead's universal body, and that body was that which was seen. Thus, there is Dvaitya Vada. There are always two entities, the seer and the seen. The seer is a part of the whole, but is not equal to the whole. The part of the whole, the seer, is also one with the whole. But since he is but a part, he cannot be the complete whole at any time. This achintya bheda bheda, simultaneous oneness and difference, is the perfect philosophy propounded by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, very important, right? What is mentioned here is, there are two types of philosophy in this world, right? You'll see like people will say, oh, everything is just one, right? There is no God. Everything is just one universe. And that's what the God shape is and all that, right? That philosophy is called Advait. Yeah, that's Advait. However, what is being mentioned is <clears throat> the Dvait one, right? The Dvait is where the God is there, right? Lord Krishna is there. And what is being mentioned is Bali Maharaj could see that the entire universe is within uh, within Lord Vishnu himself, right? And then what is mentioned is, so the seer and the seen, the one is the God and then the other is like souls like us, right? And we belong to the Lord is what is mentioned, but we are not equal to the Lord. So everything cannot be one, right? So like some people will declare, I am the God, right? So it's not that, right? The God is one. We are part and parcel of the God, but we are different, right? So we are part of the whole, but but not equal to that, right? Is what is being mentioned here. So <clears throat> what is so simultaneous oneness and difference, which means we are part of him. So you are one in that sense. Difference in the sense you are a small part of that. You are not the whole thing, right? And that's the philosophy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or any devotional service, right? That God is a person, exists, uh, is what is the uh, Dvet Bhav. Is, yeah? Rasama Chastang Gritalayat Padayo Mahim Mahir Dhana Purusasya Jangiyo Patatrano Jānuni Vishwamurte Thereafter, Bali Maharaj, who was occupying the seat of King Indra, could see the lower planetary systems, such as Rasatal, on the soles of the feet of the Lord's universal form. He saw on the Lord's feet the surface of the globe. On the surface of his calves were all the mountains. On his knees, the various birds, and on his thighs, the varieties of air. Yeah. So then Bali Maharaj saw the whole universe and then he saw how Rasatal, right? As we know, there are 14 planets <coughs> in this universe, right? Ours, ours is the Bhu planet, Prithvi, which is seventh. And below us, we have six more planets, right? If you remember, what is the bottommost planet? Patal Lok. Patal Lok, right? So then we have Patal, then above that we have Talatal, Mahatal, Rasatal, Tal, Vital, right? Like that. And then above us, we have all the higher planets. So, Bhu, Guru, Swaha, then Janlo, Taplo, and Satyalo, right? 
that's where Lord Brahma ji resides. So, uh, so when, so Bali Maharaj, so <clears throat> how the universal form is expanding. Let's read this and read it. The universal situation is described here in, in regard to the complete constitution of the Lord's gigantic universal form. The study of this universal form begins from the soul. Above the souls are the feet. Above the feet are the calves. Above the calves are the knees. And above the knees are the thighs. Thus the parts of the universal body, one after another, are described herein. The knees are the place of birds. And above that are varieties of, the air, varieties of air. The birds can fly over the mountains. And above the birds are varieties of air. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, like, and we had also read in one of the skan, one of the cantos, right? How the Virat Sarup is of Lord Vishnu that was described, right? Ajay? Sandhya Vibhur Vas Sasi Guhim Akshat Prajapati Prata Prajapati Janghani Atma Mukhyan Nabhya Nabh Nabha Kukshishu Sapta Sindhu Nurukram Sur Rasi Chakshash Malam Bali Maharaj saw beneath the garments of the Lord who acts wonderfully in the evening twilight. In the Lord's private parts he saw the Prajapatis and in the round portion of the waist he saw himself with his confidential associates. In the Lord's navel, he saw the sky. On the Lord's waist, he saw the seven oceans. And on the Lord's bosom, he saw all the clusters of stars. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So different things are described like Nabhyam, Nabha, Ukshishu, Sapta, Sindhu. Right? So well done. Nisha? Nadanga dharmam stanayor murare rutam cha satyam cha manasya tendum shriyam cha vakshasya vinda hastam kante cha samani samastarefan indra pradhana nan maranju bujeshu tat karnayoha kakubo dhauscha murdni keshesu Meghan Chasanam Nasi Kayam Kshanuscha Suryam Vande Chavahim Varnam Chandasi Rase Jalesham Bruvor Nishedam Chavidim Pakshmasu Ahascha Ratrim Chaparasya Punsu Manyu Lalate Adhara Evalobham Sparshecha Kamam Rupa Reta Sambaha Prishtet Vadharmam Kramaneshu Yagyam Chayasum Rutyum Hasite Chamayam Tanuru Heshvosh Dijayatascha Nadischa Nadishu Shila Nakeshu Buddha Vajam Deva Gana Rushimcha Praneshu Gatre Stira Jangamani Sarvani Bhutani Dadarsha Viraha O oh dear king, on the heart of Lord Murari, he saw religion, on the chest both pleasing words and truthfulness, in the mind the moon, on the bosom the goddess of fortune with a lotus flower in her hand, on the neck all the Vedas and all, all sound vibrations, on the arms all, de all the demigods headed by King Indra, in both ears all the directions, on the head the upper planetary system, on the hair the clouds, in the nostrils the wind, on the eyes the sun, and in the mouth fire. From his words came all the Vedic mantras, on his tongue was the demigod of water, Varundev, on his eyebrows were regulative principles, and on his eyelids were day and night. When his eyes were open in daytime and when they were closed it was night. On his forehead was anger and on his lip was greed. 
walking in his touch uh, were lusty desires in his semen were all the waters on his back was ir irreligion and his in his wonderful activities and steps was the fire of sacrifice on his shadow was death in his smile was the illusory illusory energy and on the hairs of his body were all the drugs and herbs in his veins were all the rivers and on his nails were all the stones in his intelligence were lord brahma the demigods and the great saintly persons and throughout his entire body and senses were all living entities moving and stationary bali maharaj thus saw everything in this gigantic body of the lord Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So this is how the whole Virat Swarup is described. Yeah. It says Sarvani Bhutani Sudarshavira. Like all the jivas were also in the Virat Swarup. Yeah. Tarun? Sarvatmin Manindam Bhuvanam Dirishaya Sarvesh Suraha Kashyamala Ma Purang Purangana Sudarshana Chakra Ma Sahatejo Dhanusha Shangana Stana Ni Yayi Nat Nu Dhoshana Dhoshana O King, when all the demons, the followers of Maharaj Bali, saw the universal form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who held everything within his body. When they saw in the Lord's hand his disc, known as the Sudarshana Chakra, which generates intolerable heat, and when they heard the tumultuous sound of his bow, all of these caused lamentation within their hearts. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. <clears throat> so all this was the Sudarshana Chakra, Shayatejo, like when they saw all that. Yeah. So that caused lamentation within the hearts of all the demons. Janya Gosho, Jalajah Panche Janya Hai, O Modaki Vishnu Gadatara Svini, Vidyadharo Asya Shat Chandra Yukta, Istinot Vamavakshay Koche. The Lord's Consul named Panche Janya, which made sounds like that of a cloud, the very forceful club named Kamodaki, the sword named Vidyadhar. With a shield decorated with hundreds of moon like spots, and also <clears throat> Akshay Shukta, the best of quivers, all of these appeared together to offer prayers to the Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> Anil? Sunand Mukhya Upatasturi Sham Parshad Mukhya Sahalok Pala Spurat Kiritang. Damina Kundalaha, Sri Basar, Ratno Tama, Mekhalam Bray, Madhu Bratas, Sragan, Sragwan, Malaya Brato, Raj Rajan, Bhagavanur, Kramaha, Shitim, Padaikain, Balervi Chakrame, Nava Shari Rain, Dishash Bahuvi. These associates headed by Sunand and other chief associates and accompanied by all the predominating de deities of the various planets offered prayers to the Lord who wore a brilliant helmet, bracelets and glittering earrings that resembled fish. On the Lord's bosom were the lock of hair called Sri Vats and the transcendental jewel named Kostu. He wore a yellow garment covered by a belt and he was decorated by a flower garland, surrounded by bees, manifesting himself in this way, O King, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose activities are wonderful, covered the entire surface of the earth with one footstep, the sky with his body, and all directions with his arms. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so what we are reading right now is the first step, right? <clears throat> Bali Maharaj agrees to give three steps to Amandev. And Vamandev, because Bali Maharaj owns the whole universe, right? And Vamandev is taking the first step. In the first step, he covered 
the entire earth, the entire sky, right, all directions, uh, etc. Right. Ajay. Padam dutiyam pramat 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 stri vishtipam navay tritiya yaya tadiya manyavapi urukram syand dhri rupayu paryatho maharja nabhyam tapasam tapasah param gata as the Lord took his second step, he covered the heavenly planets and not even a spot remained for the third step. For the Lord's foot extended higher and higher beyond Mahar Loka, Jana Loka, Tap Loka and even Satya Loka. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So then first step he covered everything else and Padam Jutiyam, right, second step. He covered the heavenly planets. No sport remained for the third step. Right, Just within two steps, he covered all the higher logs and the logs below Bhu. Right? And as we know, the higher logs are Maharlok, Janlok, Taplok, Satyalok. Yeah? <clears throat> Let's read this purple. Uh, Tarun. When the Lord's footstep exceeded the height of all the lokas, including Mahar Loka, Jan Loka, Tapo Loka, and Satya Loka, his nails suddenly pierced the covering of the universe. The universe is covered by the five material elements Bhumir, Apo, Nalo, Vayu, Kham. As stated in the Shastra, these elements are in layers, each ten times thicker than the previous one. Nonetheless, the nails of the Lord pierced through all these layers and made a hole penetrating into the spiritual world. From this hole, the water of the Ganges infiltrated into the into this material world, and therefore it is said, Pada Nakha Nura Nira Janita Jana Pavana Dasavtara Srota 5. Because the Lord kicked a hole in the covering of the universe. The water of the Ganges, Ganges came into this material world to deliver all the fallen souls. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So, few important things mentioned here. If you also remember, right, the universe is covered by the five material elements. We know that, right? What are the five elements? Jana, Pavana, Nira, Janita, Jana, Water. Yeah, and Akash, right? So, Bhumi, yeah, it says here, Bhumi, that's Prithvi, yeah? Then Apo, Nalo, Vayu, Kham. Kham is the Akash, yeah? So, Prithvi, Agni, Vayu, Jal, um, Akash. and Air, yeah? And Air, yeah? You know, we know those five elements, yeah? And if you remember, right, one of the skulls we had read, how those elements came in together how those different layers were formed and how those layers combined together. And then also we know, like among those layers, each layer is a 10 times thicker. Yeah, in one of the chapters we had read about that, right? Like how after each layer, the next layer is 10 times thicker. And that's the, so this is the materialistic universe and there's a spiritual universe. That's the separation. But what is being mentioned here is that through the nail of the Lord, he pierced through all these layers and he made a hole penetrating into the spiritual world. Right? So between the materialistic world and the spiritual world and through that water of the Ganges came into this materialistic world is what is being mentioned. And of course says that the water of the Ganges came into this material world to deliver all the fallen souls. That's the significance of the Ganga water. Okay, so that ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the head canto. 20th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled <clears throat> Bali Maharaj surrenders the universe. Hello, Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Jai. Jai.
Vamandev ki jai. So within two states, he has covered the entire entire universe. Yeah, and we will continue to read since we have some more time. And uh, this Adhyay twenty one is about how Bali Maharaj gets arrested by the Lord Vamandev. So let's continue reading it. <clears throat> Ashe Prabhu? Yeah. Shri Shukha Vacha Satyam Samikshyab Jabho Nakhindu Vi Hatswadhamadhutira Vrito Abhagat Marich Mishra Shrishyo Vrihidravata Sanandanadha Nardev Yogina. Sukhadev Goswami continued when Lord Brahma, who was born of lotus flowers, saw that the effulgence of his residence. Brahma Loka has been reduced by the glaring effulgence from the two from the two nails of Lord Vamandeva. He approached the supreme personality of Godhead. Lord Brahma was accompanied by all the great sages, headed by Marichi and by yogis like Sana. Sana Sanandana, but in the presence of that glaring effulgence, O King, even Lord Brahma and his associates seemed insignificant. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, Sukhdev Goswami is describing this, right? Of course, Sukhdev Goswami is telling this Srimad Bhagavatam to, to whom? Maharaj Parikshit. Maharaj Parikshit, right? So, and he's telling Maharaj Parikshit that when Lord expanded his nails, yeah, penetrated through the universe. And of course, Lord Brahma's lobe, which is the Satya lobe, the highest lobe in those 14 lobes, is the Brahma lobe, also called as Satya lobe. And when Lords uh, went through that, the glaring effulgence of Brahma lobe was reduced. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> Uh, Lord Brahma then I think approaches the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We'll read in the next shlok. Uh, Anilji? Vedopa Veda Nema Yamanvita Vistarke Tihasang Purana Sanhita Yechapare Yoga Samira Deepat Gyanagnina Randi Takarma Kalmashaha Bavandire Yatsma Rananu Bhavataha Swayam Bhutam Dham Gatha Karmakam Athang Graye Pron Mitai Vishnu Rupa Harat Padma Bhavo Bhavora Har Nodakam Samarche Bhaktiabh Ganachu Chishwa Yanavi Pankeru Asambhava Swayam Among the great personalities who came to worship the lotus feet of the Lord were those who had attained perfection in self-control and regulative principles, as well as experts in logic, history, general education, and Vedic literature known as Kalp, dealing with old historical incidents. Others were experts in the Vedic corollaries like Brahma Sanhita, all the other knowledge of the Vedas, Sam, Yajur, Rig, and Atharv, and also the supplementary Vedic knowledge, Ayurveda, Dhanurveda, etc. Others were those who had been freed of the re reactions to fruitive activities by transcendental knowledge, awakened by practice of yoga. And still others were those who had attained residence in Brahma Lok, not by ordinary karm, but by advanced Vedic knowledge. After devotedly worshipping the upraised lotus feet of the Supreme Lord with oblation, oblations of water, 
Lord Brahma, who was born of the lotus emanating from Lord Vishnu's navel, offered prayers to the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So along with Lord Brahma, what is being mentioned is all the great rishis, munis, and all the yogis, everyone, right? Everyone came to worship the Lord. And of course, Lord Brahma was born with the lotus emanating from the Lord Vishnu's navel, right? As we know, Lord Brahma ji, Bhagavan Vishnu ke nabi se, right? right? He offered prayers to the Lord. <coughs> Ajay? Dhatu kamandalu jalam tad rukumasya padavajen vane jan pavitraya pavitraya narendra swapunya bhun masi sa patati nimati lokatrayam bhagvato vishdeva Vishdeva Kirti. O King, the water from Lord's Brahma's Kamandalu washed the lotus feet of Lord Vamandev, who is known as Urukram, Urukrama, the wonderful actor. Thus, the water became so pure that it was transformed into the water of the Ganges, which went flowing down from the sky, purifying the three worlds like the pure frame pure fame of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, from the Kamandal of Lord Brahma was the lotus feet of Lord Vamande. Yeah. Vadavanejan Pavitra Tayanarindra is what is mentioned. Nisha? Brahma Dayo Loka Natha Svanathaya Samadrita Sanubo Bali Majavi Sangshiptatma Vibhutaye. Lord Brahma and all predominating deities of the various planetary system began to worship Lord Vamandev, their supreme master, who had reduced himself from his uh, all pervading form uh, to his original form. They collected all the ingredients and Paraphernalia for this worship. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, everyone started worshipping Lord Vamandev. Yeah. Tarun? Toe Samarhena Samarhena Srabhir Divya Gandha Nule Paneha Duper dipe surabhi bhir lajakasata palan kureha stavanir jaya sabdesya cha tad virya mahima tad virya mahiman natya vaditra gites Yes, cha sankha dundubi ni esya vaneha. They worship the Lord by offering fragrant flowers, water, padya, and argya, sandalwood pulp, and aguru pulp, incense, lamps, fused rice, and broken grains, fruits, roots, and sprouts. While so doing, they offered prayers indicating the glorious activities of the Lord and shouted, Jaya Jaya. They also danced, played instruments, sang, sounded conch shells and beat kettle drums. In this way, worshipping the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Shri Prabhu? <clears throat> Shivro? Yes, Prabhuji. It's Jamba Vanrich Rajastu Bheri Shabdar Manojadvaha Vijyam Dikshu Sarvasu Mahotsav 
Dhoshyat. Jamvan, king of the bears, also joined the ceremony. Sounding his bugle in all directions, he declared a great festival for Lord Bhavan Deva's victory. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Vijayam Dikshu Sarvasu. So he declared it. Just still. Mahim Sarvam Hatam Jiswa. Tripad Rajaya Chitraya. Ujuhasra Bhartu Rasura. Dikshit Shatyat Marshita. When the demoniac followers of Maharaj Bali saw that their master, who had been determined in performing sacrifice, had lost all his positions to Vamandev, who had taken them away on the plea of begging three pieces of land, they were very angry and spoke as follows. Yeah? So as we know, Lord Vamandev wanted only three states, and in two states he took away the entire <laughs> universe, and the third step is still remaining, but then we'll see what happens next, right? So we'll pause here. We'll uh, continue reading this tomorrow, okay? Uh, <clears throat> and as we are reading about Lord Vamandev, we are going to see a beautiful stupi of Bhagwan Vamandev, yeah? So let's hear that six to seven minutes, and then we'll pause. Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Shri Padma Purana Antar Gatha Shri Vamana Stotram Aditir Uvaja Namaste Deva Devesha Sarva Pya Pinjanardana Sattva Diguna Bhedena Loka Pya Parakarine Namaste Bahurupaya Arupaya Namo Namaha Sarvaika Buddha Rupaya Nirgunaya Gunatmane Namaste Doka Nataya Paramagnana Rupine Sadhakta Jana Vatsalya Shiline Mangalatmane Yasya Batara Rupani Yarja Yanti Munishvara Tamadi Purusham Devam Nama Mishtarta Siddhaye Yamna Jananti Shrutayo Yamna Jananti Suraya Tamna Mami Jagadhe Tum Mayinam Tamamayinam Yasya Baloka Nam Chitram Mayo Padrabavaranam Jagadrupam Jagadpalam Tambandhe Padma Jadabam Yodevasthyakta Sanganam Shantanam Karunarnavaha Kharoti Yatmana Sangam Tambandhe Sangabarjitam Yatpadabjajalaklinna Seba Ranjita Mastakaha Abapu paramam siddhim tam bandhe sarva banditam Yajnyeshvaram yajnyabujam yajnyakarma sunishpitam Namami yajnyafaladam yajnyakarma prabhodakam Ajami lopi papatma yanna mocharanadanu Praptavan paramam dama thambam de loka sakshinam Brahmadya api ye deva yanma ya paja yantrita Najananti param bavam thambam de sarbanayakam Rutpadmanila yognyanam thurasta yibabatiya Pramanatita sadbhavam tambandhe jnana sakshinam 
यन्मुका ब्राह्मणो जातो बाहु व्यक्षत्रियो जनी ततै बबूरुथो वैश्य पद्याम शोद्रो अजायते मनसस्चंद्र माजातो चात सूर्यस्च चक्षुषा मुखाद इंद्रस्तथाग्निष्ट प्राणाद बायुर अजायते ப்பமின்றப்பவனச்சோமச்ப்பமிஷானச்ப்பமல்டகாம் वामेवजगथाम इशपुन्नामास्ति परत्परहां त्वद्रूपम्मकिलं तस्मात् खुत्रान मेपाहि श्रीहरे येतिस्थुत्वा धेवदात्री धेवं मत्वा पुनप्पुनहां उवाच प्रांजलिर्भूत्वा हर्षाश्रुक्षाली तस्तनी अनुग्राह्यस्मि धेवेश हरे सर्वादिकारण अखंतकश्रियं देहि मत्सुथानाम दिबाउकाजाम अंतर्यामिन जगत्रूप सर्वभूत परेश्वरं थवाग्न्यातं कि मस्तीह किम्माम मोहयसि प्रभो तातापिता बाबक्ष्यामी जन्मे मनसि वर्तते ब्रुता पुत्रास्मि धेवेशा रक्षा भी परिपीडिता ये तन नहं तुमिच्छामी मत्सु थादिति जाता यहाँ ताना हत्वाश्रयम् देहि मत्सु थाना मुवाचाजा यत्यक्ता धेवा धेवस्तु पुनः प्रीतिम् मुपागता हां उवाचा हर्षा यंसात्वीम् कृपा याभिपरिप्लुता हां श्रीभगवानुवाचं प्रीतस्मि धेवि भद्रम् ते भविष्यामि सुतस्तवं यतस्सपत्नितानयेश वापिवात्सल्याशालिनि त्वायाचामे कृतमस्तोत्रम् पाठन्ति भुविमानवाह धैजाम पुत्रधनम् संपन्नहि यंते कदाचने अंते मत्पदमापनाति यत्विष्णो परमं शुभम् Yiti Shri Padma Puranan Thargatam Shri Vamana Sthotram Samaptam Hari Vom Tat Sat Right. So what we were listening was uh, Lord Vamandev's istuti. So before, so Lord Vishnu, when he appears, right, to Mother Aditi, yeah, he appears in the Lord Vishnu's form, and that's when Mother Aditi is doing the istuti. That's what we were listening to, and then Lord shows that form to Mother Aditi, and then takes the form of Vamandev. Yeah. So beautiful istuti, and I will continue reading tomorrow. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.